Yeah, let's make some foam. Wow, Ron, this stuff really expands. Yes, it does, Kent. Uh, this product is shot on at about 1,200 uh, pounds of pressure and about 150 degrees heated to the gun, and the exothermic chemical reaction of the two products heats it up about another 40, 50 degrees. So about 200 degrees and 1,200 pounds of pressure, and it actually expands at a ratio of 1 to 120. Boy, that stuff, it covers every nook and cranny, doesn't it, Ron? Uh, you can bet you there's not going to be any cracks and voids with this product in the wall, and we're going to eliminate all those other infiltration factors that we were concerned with. Ron, I noticed they're shooting every other panel. How come they're doing that? Well, there's a reason for it, and it facilitates the trimming. And if you'd like to uh, step into the next room over here, I can show you how that's done. Okay, let's go. And this is the trimming process that I promised to show you, Kent. And as you can see, that's a special tool with a long saw blade on it. And what this does is affords us to cut the foam even with the faces of the studs so that the sheet rockers don't have any problem when they come in behind us. Right. Okay, then uh, if you see the end of that saw sticking out on the left, if that panel adjacent to it was filled with foam as well, it would tear the foam in the next panel. So what we actually do is shoot every other panel, come back and trim every other panel, and then come back behind and shoot the panels again. That is really slick. Ron, I can see how this product works great in these 16-inch cavities, but are there any uh, special applications for this product? Well, we like to think all applications of Selection 500 are special, but you're absolutely correct, Kent. There are many specific areas in a house under new construction that just cannot be addressed properly and insulated properly with other insulations. Let's go look at some of those. Okay, let's go. Kent, this is uh, the first of those special areas that we were talking about with a home, and it's what we call a subfloor. And we see a lot of this today. You know, the architects are trying to use every square foot of the home that they can possibly they use. Absolutely have to. You know, and we see a lot of what they call bonus rooms out of the garage. Right. And that's what we're looking at is the floor or the subfloor of a bonus room. And with traditional types of insulation, fiberglass, and those, that type of thing, uh, due to gravity, you know, those products are going to fall away inside and we're not going to get any insulation. Yeah. And I'm sure you've had a lot of homeowners that have complained to you over the years that, you know, this one room, they just can't keep cool, and that's usually that bonus room that has this sub floor. But as you can see, our product welds itself in the sub floor, seals it, it's never going to shrink, it's never going to sag, and what you end up with is a bonus room that's just as comfortable as any other room in the house. Well, that's tremendous. It makes that over garage space very functional. Absolutely. All right, Ken, here we are looking at another area of that requires special attention, and this is the truss ends, uh, and that's the end of the trusses between the top stud plate on the first floor and the bottom plate of the second floor. Right. Uh, these are just typical problems for air leakage in a home. Uh, if I were to ask you one more time, uh, how would you insulate that with uh, traditional insulation such as fiberglass? What would your comment be? Oh, not very easy. In fact, you got less than 16-inch width up there, and they just have to stuff it up in there as best they can. Okay, so it's another cut and paste and patch job. Do you agree? Absolutely. Uh, what would you do about a vapor barrier on that interior wall up between those crust ends? Uh, you can't get a vapor barrier up there. It just can't happen. Can no. Uh -uh. Oh, one more time, i got to say to you, you can't watch Selection 500 go to work. Any doubt in your mind that those truss ends are closed? I think they're fairly well sealed. <laughs> think you're going to have any air leakage up there? I don't think there'll yeah. be much air getting through that particular cavity, which is good. Well, that is fantastic. Even in between those small gaps in the trusses there, he fills those up. You ready to look at another special area? You bet. You. It's great. Hey, Kent, this is another one of those special areas that we've talked about insulating with foam. We're looking at a, a typical kitchen wall, exterior wall, and we have plumbing and water supply piping and wires and electrical outlets and all sorts of penetrations in that wall. If I were to ask you to insulate that wall with, uh, oh, fiberglass or one of the other typical insulations that are around, how would you go about it? What would you do? Well, it'd be a cut-and-paste job around all that piping and, and electrical boxes in there. 
dead cut and paste and, and the uh, bottle glass is an example ended up being compressed and what happens to the R value when you compress vinyl? Uh, it goes to almost zip. Okay, so we've got minimal insulation with traditional insulation techniques. That's correct. Watch this. Oh, Ron, look at that foam just surround all that piping in there. That is Is there excellent. any doubt in your mind that it completely encapsulates all those penetrations? No, that's just beautiful. Kent, this is another one of the areas of special application, as you call it, and what we're talking about are corners and tees. If I were to ask you how that corner would get insulated with uh, traditional insulations on the market today, what would you say to me? Well, most of the time, Ron, that corner doesn't get insulated. And the same goes for tees, right? Yeah, that's, that's a fact. Watch this. That's unbelievable. Another area we're looking at here, Kent, that just really can't be addressed by other insulations are bolted ceilings and cathedral ceilings that we see in many, many of the homes today. Again, those architects have done that and trying to make them look pretty. Uh, if I were to ask you to insulate this area uh, with a traditional insulation, fiberglass and that type of thing, what's going to happen with time? Well, it's going to... Uh, be nailed up there and then sag down and, and almost go to nothing over time. Another thing we like to address is air conditioning duct leakage. The vent side of the air conditioning system operating at a positive pressure and the return side operating at a negative pressure. A lot of leakage. Plus, the return side is the primary source of dust leakage into the home. Well, Dave and Ron, this product is just truly impressive. I'm just uh, tremendously impressed, but as a builder, i got to ask you, what's the bottom line to this product? Kent, the bottom line is pretty simple. Our comprehensive program of caulking, sealing, and insulating a home with Selection 500 is going to give you about as comfortable a home as money can buy. Your home's going to be quiet, your home's going to be dust-free, and your home's going to be draft-free. Most importantly, your home is going to save you about 50% on your air conditioning and heating costs. Combine that with the elimination of any kind of an exterior wrap, the elimination in most parts of the country, vapor barriers, and the downsizing of tonnage required to air condition the home. So there's substantial cost benefits on other products that we put in a home that will come back to us to help pay for the cost of the selection Absolutely. 500. The energy savings over the life of a 30-year mortgage is in the tens of thousands of dollars. Well, that's impressive, and I, I know our consumers will, will love those savings that they'll get off the utility bill. Well, Dave, I really appreciate you introducing me to this product. It's a tremendous okay. product. And, Ron, I am building my own personal home now, and I can guarantee you that Selection 500 will go in there and be the insulating product for me and my family to use and hopefully several others. Makes my day worthwhile. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.